marsh in any climate region is characterized by thin-stemmed emergent plants. And all swamps are dominated by trees or other woody plants emerging from the water. The third type of wetland is the bog, often covered by a carpet of sphagnum moss. Bogs are most common in the cold northern part of the temperate zone. Some plant-eating animals, like the moose, come from the surrounding forest to feed in a bog. Most bogs form when a lake is slowly filled in with decayed vegetation, or peat, which absorbs minerals from the soil. So plants here, like this cotton grass, must be able to survive on a small amount of mineral nutrients. Cotton grass is a flowering plant. Because of the cold climate and poor soil, a bog isn't a very productive ecosystem. But other wetlands are highly productive. This is part of the Pantanal, a large wetland area in Brazil that includes both marshes and swamps. In this warm climate, the seasons are not hot and cold, but wet and dry. During the dry season, the anhinga and other animals are concentrated near a river or lake. But now, in late September, the dry season is about to end. 